we got we got a pretty important game against QPR. We're close to Chelsea, to Man U, to Man City. We're close to everyone on the table. We're just a few points back. And with a win today, we can spring ourselves into a good position. A lot of players are very tired, so I put Thiago in the starting 11. And Zagbia is playing left mid because Thiago will be playing Cam. One player that was really, really tired is Malapa. And I didn't know if I should take him out or not. Him and Christian have been connecting so much lately that I just don't know if I should pull him out. Now, moving the defense all around, we got to change our left back, our right back, our center back. We're moving players all around. It's pretty much a brand new starting 11. I thought about, and actually, I actually messed up. Christian was the player that was tired, not Malapa. And I didn't know if I wanted to take Christian out or not because of how good Christian and Malapa have been playing lately. And I just came to the decision that it's probably better for me to keep Malapa and Christian in there together and not mess with the, the, the way they've been playing. So before the game kicks off, I want to tell you this. If you want cheap Alaba coins, make sure to check out the description down below for UT Coin Traders. And also, we have a pretty interesting topic to talk about. Yesterday's manager mode, I talked a lot about whether it would be a live com or if it would be commentaries like these. And I told everybody to leave in the comments down below what type of commentary you wanted, whether live or not live on the manager modes. And there's a lot of comments and it's back and forth and I'm waiting. I'm waiting to really make my decision until tomorrow. But regardless, I have two games that are gonna be like this, two games that are cut out this way and with me commentating this way. And then after that, I can make a decision whether I go back to live comms or if I keep doing things the same way. So expect the two, the next two manager modes to be this way. And then the third manager mode after these two coming up, the third one coming out, will be where we, how the hell did I miss that? Will be the one where we see whether it's gonna be live com or be just like this. Now who knows, I'm not sure like, I'm not sure which way, I'm not leaning to one side yet, I'm just letting all the comments go. I think after two days, the video going up is really where you could tell where the viewers heads is and 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 what i should do so i'm letting everyone get their chance to leave a comment if you haven't done it yet go back to yesterday's manager mode watch it and let me know what commentary you want more whether it's a live comp or a regular comp on manager modes because everyone's opinion is important now still in the first half tiago went down with a shoulder injury and i can't tell you right now that that injury right there is going to have him out for eight days. And that was a tough injury to take because it, it, it came in a situation in the time that a lot of my attacking mids are tired. And Felipe Anderson wasn't able to play this game because he took an injury. Now Thiago took an injury. Now I got to take Inzagbia from left mid to be playing Cam. And I got, um, or wait, taking Zagbia from right mid. Wait, from left mid. Yeah, from left mid to Cam, and I had to bring in Rodriguez, who was already, his fitness was already low, and I had to put him into the game early in the game. So fitness is definitely becoming an issue for us here. Look, I cut back here, and look at that. How did I miss a cutback? Oh, my days. I missed a cutback with Malapa, but Malapa makes it back up by giving Christian a booyah with another sweaty cutback. But right now, with the season coming kind of to an end, we probably have like eight more games left in the BPO. With the season coming close to the end and with us being so close to getting first place, I got to score cutbacks. I got to score anything I can take because I got to make sure that I win every single game I play in. We got to make sure we win if we want to make a push at this BPL title. Now, and it's interesting because, I'm going to be honest with you, playing with Austin Villa in the BPL and, and making it realistic to where I didn't buy crazy players I'm doing pretty well because I thought with Austin Villa, I would just get destroyed and not be able to hold my own in the BPL. I didn't even think we would come above the half, the halfway line. I thought we would come bottom of the table, but we've done pretty well. Now, the only other team I've ever played career mode on was actually I played it with two teams. I played it with Benfica when the game first came out. And I was doing a, a, a manager mode a while back that actually got canceled because my Xbox saved uh, my, my player over the career mode, which then I lost my manager mode. And the manager mode was so far, I played it so far ahead. Um, I had gameplay all saved up to where this the season was pretty much almost done before I started uploading it. And I ended up losing like the last five games of the season. So I couldn't 
finish the series because I lost the gameplay. I don't know if you guys remember that, but in that in that series, I actually won the BPL with Swansea City on Legendary. It was insane. I either won it or I was in second with the season about to end. I don't remember how it played out, but I even showed like a video of where I was during that point in the season. I was real close to winning the BPL, so... With Swansea City, I beasted and feasted. I didn't think I could do it with Austin Villa because I felt Swansea City, player-wise in the game, might have had a better team than Swansea than, than Austin Villa. But Austin Villa has a solid team, man. And with, with us signing Malapa, with us signing Thiago and Felipe Anderson, we've put a solid, solid squad together. I started the season off pretty damn well with the players I had, but picking up Malapa and these players we signed, this, this put Austin Villa over the top. If you're playing career mode, I'll recommend you signing Felipe Anderson. I recommend you signing Malapa. I recommend you signing Zuma. And I recommend you signing Reyes. But the person I would definitely recommend over everybody is Felipe Anderson. I like him a lot. I definitely, definitely really like Felipe Anderson. How the hell did Christian miss that? <laughs> but saying that, we win a big, a big, big win. 4-2 in front of our home fans against QPR. And that's going to put us four points away from Chelsea in first place. Four points, man. We can do this. We can actually win the BPL. Top goal scorer is Christian on 35 goals. Top assist person is Christian on 12 assists. Christian is a beast. And we got Liverpool next. Can we beat him? I hope so, baby. <laughs>